they came to me. I started riding because um, I had a like old steel, uh, like late 90s um, road bike, and I used that to commute. And then I kind of started doing these like little little trips. Um, and these trips got longer. And then when I got my first job and my first pay, or like my first real job and my first real paycheck, I was like, I'm gonna get a road bike because it's, I don't know, it made sense. And so I got my road bike and then it was just like click. I definitely ride it to get away from a lot of my thoughts and a lot of, I don't know, things that are going on in my day that might not necessarily make me feel so good. Um, so yeah, riding a bike is, is an escape. I ride it to escape. Boy never wants to be beaten by a girl. So you can, they will always fight for it. With girls, it's, it's in some communities, it becomes more like a social thing and not that much training. But I'm really trying to like... This is good, right? Yeah, change that in some ways, because I think girls can train together too. It doesn't always have to be like social rides and, yeah. and so, but training rides is a thing. And if they can take their practice. make friendships that I would have never been able to make anyways. Uh, I would have never been able to make off the bike, people I would have never come across. Um, so cycling is just something that is kind of a large part of my identity and um, has really helped be a platform to kind of push me into new opportunities and new places and um, new experiences. I try to f actually focus on the pain and and not talk myself out of what I'm feeling. Like I, I try to not disregard what I'm physically feeling and actually accept that it's happening and not to move past it, but to just be like, yes, this is painful because I've tried the like, oh, it's it's fine. Like, just just keep going like you're OK. And like that doesn't help me. So it's just acknowledging like this is hard. This hurts. <laughs> Maybe deal with it a little bit. Try and walk it though. Woo! Love about cycling the most is that you can just like push yourself so far. And um, yeah, that's but like something that would make me crack. I don't mechanical <laughs> can't ride can't finish can't finish because of something that's out of my control I think that that would just that would be a bad day on a bike I just have to go faster right like that's all I need to do is just pedal fast just started a ride thinking this was going to be hard and then you push yourself and knowing that you gave it your all and that you're crap like you're so mentally and physically burnt out at the end of the day is nice because then you know you gave it your all i think i'm upset when i end a ride feeling good or maybe not feeling as tired because then i go back to being like i that one little bit I should have maybe pushed more or...
<laughs> and today I did my longest climb ever, and I <laughs> and I didn't know what to expect, and I have never ridden so many uh, meters of elevation. Insane! I have never been <laughs> riding that much, so to like achieve new stuff like that is super important to me because that means like you're moving in a direction. It's wild to think that someone would approach the stage as a stage seven because it was my second day here of riding. Um, and I think I woke up and I think we had slept nicely and um, I wasn't sure what to expect because it's a long day and I know the climbs were tough but I kind of feel like I um, can have the legs for a longer climb. as a woman to try and look at the men and compare yourself like you can't compare yourself to the men you just can't we're I'm accepting the fact that we're not built the same and that I can't have necessarily the same numbers as them but to then see a woman on TV or in person and seeing them push and being like you know maybe I like that gives me more of a drive on my bikes I'm like I saw a woman do it so it's doable I can do it um, versus like a man you're like yeah he's strong for sure that number's crazy i don't know if i can get that maybe like it's that maybe that i don't like i like seeing a woman who's hitting a number and being like that's a crazy number that she just hit but she's a woman and i'm a woman and i can relate more and and, and yeah What? I'm trying not to think about tomorrow, but I think um, I think we'll all try to work together the best we can to make sure everyone finishes the day. And um, I think it will be a pretty emotional, perhaps again, at the hilltop finish. I mean, why not? Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what my body can do tomorrow. It's a beautiful climb and it, it's steady. It's like the grade doesn't fluctuate a lot. So you can just, yeah, it's so nice. at the end of that ride I'll probably feel the best that I've ever felt and I think that's the addiction to cycling is the suffering the wondering why I cycle the, the constant argument you have with yourself on your bike of the finish and, and looking back on what you just did I think anyone who finishes a ride that they were maybe a little nervous to do is like the greatest feeling 